How you doing? Good, good. What did you what did you kind of take away from last season? You were a true freshman jumping in and, and kind of established yourself real early on as kind of one of those co-starters at corners. So what did you kind of take away from your first year playing college football? Uh, what I take away is um, you have to be disciplined in this game. You have to Each and every day you have to come back, get ready to work. I mean, if you mess up, hey, you mess up in practice. Don't try to do it in the game. But if you mess up in practice, just learn from it. Try not to make the same mistake over and over again. That's all I'm doing is um, – just learning the game more, formation, splits, like just trying to put myself in the best position to win my rep. You know, you feel me? So. What are your goals for your second year? Yeah. All camp underneath you now. What are your goals for your second year? Um, my goals for my second year is to be just to be the standard. You feel me? Like I want to be the standard. Um, I'm learning more. Like I'm still still room to grow, but I'm still like I'm learning a little bit more, playing a little bit faster because I know what to do. So um, just want to make plays when the plays, when the opportunities come to me, and just as a team, like just play as a team because teams want to win championships. You feel me? So that's all I want to do this season. You know, you talk a lot about learning, Brandon, but um, with that group, that's a very experienced group. You got two award watch list winners on it, all of that. Mm -hmm. um, What's it like kind of being a younger guy within the advanced group and still getting plenty of reps in? Is it, I mean, what what has playing with them kind of done for your game? Oh, playing with them, um, it made my game much easier. Like last year, it made my game much easier. You have older guys who played at, who've been playing for a long time, who played a lot of snaps. Like, it's made my game easier. They all help me each and every day. You, I mean, I love those guys. Those are like my brothers. You feel me? The whole defense is like my brothers. So I truly love those guys, man. They give me... I mean, I love them, guys. In what ways do you think this defense could be better than last year? I mean, just overall, like, defense. Like, T. Will preaches, get to the ball. Like, ain't no loafing. If you're the backside corner, you, you ain't no you still on the receiver. You need to get to the ball. Like, every play, we're trying to get to the ball. We're trying to get to the ball. We're all trying to make plays. Um, I feel like we all got that dog in us this year. Like, from D-line, linebackers, secondary, like, too deep. We have a dog, so I mean, I'm really not worried about our defense, but we're gonna be a real good defense this year. I'm not gonna lie. You said a lot of guys have dog in them. Like, who are some of the names that maybe had a really good camp? I mean, just guys who are balling out every day. Like, who are some of the guys you want to name drop that you're excited to see what they do on the field? Um, that's hard. I I'm not gonna lie to you. That's really hard because I feel like every every day this defense, like, I just feel it. Like, just special. Like, I'm tingling right now. Like, I just feel it. Like. But every day, everybody's coming to work. Like, everybody. Like, I'm not even – like, I can't even lie to you, man. Everybody's come to um, come to work. I'm proud of everybody, proud of myself. Um, nobody's fatigued, letting them get in the way. Like, everybody's doing their job. What about some young guys, though? I mean, there's some young guys, some freshmen or some newcomers that are, like – I like, I like all the, the freshmen. I like all the freshmen on defense. Nakai, the Twins, the linebacker, Cam Moore, CT, Jamal – Man, those guys, man, they really have a chance this year. And like, like I said, like everybody comes to work. You feel me? So, I mean, yeah. You mentioned the Kai. We've heard a lot about him this camp. Like, what are you seeing out of him uh, specifically? The Kai, man. Like I said, he's a true dog, man. He reminded me of myself last year, coming in as a freshman, just trying to learn things. Even though we're playing, I mean, he plays all over. So, I mean, man, he's just a dog, man. He's coming to work. He's gonna listen. Um, that's a true guy. Like, that's a guy. Your perspective in the scrimmages, you know, you're trying to break up passes, get interceptions. What have you seen from the quarterbacks, Mikey and John Rice? Um, I mean, I'm not looking at the quarterback. I'm trying to get the ball and the receiver. So I mean, I mean, the quarterbacks, like like Gamble said, those dudes like in the locker room. I don't really be over there often, but in the locker room, like those guys, like all love each other in that quarterback room. I can say that. Like with the whole team, everybody loves each other. So I mean, yeah. Speaking with the guys that you regularly do battle with on the field with the wide receivers, like it seems almost a tradition lately that UCF has a great running back core, but the wide receivers this year, from your perspective, they're pretty deep, right? What would you say about them? Yeah, I mean, the wide receivers are pretty good. I mean, we battle every day in and out. I mean, they're pretty good, you know what I'm saying? Um, they, got, they, got real, like, like, they got real guys over there. So each and every day you can't take a playoff. So, yeah. What do you think opposing quarterbacks are going to think of what are they going to see from this defense? Um, that we're going to keep the top on the coverage. I mean, that's 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 simple. Like, 
I mean, they may make some plays, but most of the time, we're going to keep the top on the coverage. That's what I, I see that the opposing quarterback will do. We all saw a little bit of the clips of the coaches' dance-off the other night in the team meeting room. What did you think about that? Who, uh, who was the best dancer? Who impressed you? Um, the best dancer? I like – T. Will really did the best dance, if we keep him honest. He, uh, I like what he did with that, got the crowd going. Um, then second, you got Coach Harris, Florida guy, you know what I'm saying? I was surprised he could still move like that. Uh, you got Coach Martin, Coach Ann, uh, two athletic guys, and he, yeah. Who were some of the players you liked to watch growing up? Like, uh, I know you played what most. You played quarterback. I know in high yeah. school. Were you, were you looking at corners, or you kind of maybe knew that was your spot, or who uh, were some of, even even as quarterbacks? Who were the guys you liked to watch growing up? Growing up, I always been a defensive guy. I played everywhere on the defense since part ball. I done played everywhere, even on offense. I done played everywhere, but uh, growing up. It really wasn't a particular like particular guy, but that 2000, I want to say 11, 12, when the Ravens go to the Super Bowl, 11. Oh, you're talking about the second time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's I mean, me and my dad, he's a big time Raven fan. Um, so I mean, I love watching that Raven defense just fly around making plays. What kind of leader are you during a game? Um, I feel like I'm more like. During the game, I'm trying to get my guys hyped. Like, man, we don't need to be just chilling, sitting around. Like, I'm like, I'm more of a hype guy. Like, I like to get hype before I play. You feel me? And then I just let my game do the talking. Like, I'm not, I might say a little something, but I ain't going to really do too much talking. You feel me? I'm trying to just get the job done. What do you learn from Devontae Brown? Um, I learned a lot from him. Uh, I asked him a couple questions, like, maybe if I messed up on something, but the coaches didn't see it. I'm looking at him. I see, oh, hey, Devontae. How did you play this split right here? Oh, how did you play? What leverage did you play? I'm asking him little things like that. Even when my coach, like Coach Addison, I ask him every day, like, if this, what should I do with this split? Or what should I do if he, um, if he's these two wide or something like that? So, I mean, I'm just learning each and every day. And I feel like I'm growing, I'm growing. You're really learning. studying the film after these practices and scrimmage. Oh, yeah. Like, after the, after we get done practicing, like, I'm waiting for the film to go. I'm ready to watch it. So, I mean, trying to see what I messed up at, where I did good at. Like, it's just a whole learning process before game one, and I'm ready to compete. What are your expectations and maybe your goals for this season? Um, my expectation is to play at a high level. Like, the defense, we're all going to play at a high level, so I want to fit in with them. Um, my goals this year is pretty much just to do my job. Like I said, make the plays when they come to me and just be an overall team player because at the end of the day, the team is going to win championships. So that's what I think. Thanks. No problem. Appreciate it.